Hey everybody, I um, just wanted to give you guys a little quick video, informative video on um, Panaway. It's one of the oil blends that you get in your premium starter kit. It comes in the Everyday Oils collection. And um, I wanted to give you just a little bit of history on it and then some common uses for it as well. So it was created by Gary Young um, many years ago um, after he had an injury to the ligaments in his leg. He needed something to help with the inflammation and that pain associated to the injury. So he created Panaway. Um, so why it's good for pain, it has wintergreen in it. Wintergreen is an anti-inflammatory, antispasmodic, and analgesic. It has analgesic properties to it, so it has a pain relieving property, um, and it helps with the inflammation due to different injuries. Um, and it also has helichrysum in it. Helichrysum is also um, an analgesic and has some antispasmodic properties to it as well as anti-inflammatory. So very similar to wintergreen in its properties, so together, um, very effective for all those things. Also has clove in it. Clove is one of the highest antiseptic oils that we have. Um, and it also has 60 to 80 percent eugenol, which produces a numbing effect. And for that reason, it's used a lot of times in um, dental procedures. Dentists prefer it for its both the antiseptic and the numbing properties that it has. So it's a great oil to have in this blend for pain for both of those reasons. And then lastly, it has peppermint in it. Peppermint is an incredible pain blocker. It's one of my absolute favorite oils for just about anything. Um, but it does have that um, antispasmodic and anti-inflammatory property as well. So it's um, really good for blocking pain. And the reason is, um, <clears throat> There was a study that was done back in um, South Africa on the menthol content in peppermint, and it was found that it was an incredible skin penetrator. So its ability to get through the layers of the skin into the tissues was incredibly good. Um, and for that reason, we actually use it in a layering process when we're putting oils on in layers. So we apply the peppermint on last as a way for um, those oils underneath it to be penetrated into the tissues more effectively and for it to be a better benefit to you. Um, and for the same reason, we would put it in a blend like Panaway for its ability to help those other oils penetrate the skin more readily and then also its ability to block pain, that pain sensation as well. So it can be used two different ways. You can use it topically and aromatically or inhaled. Um, so topically, it would be great on location. It is to be used um, one to four, one drop of the essential oil to four drops of carrier oil of your choice. Um, I like grapeseed oil for a liquid form or coconut oil if you were making a cream. Um, <clears throat> but you would apply that on location to a sprain, a bump, a bruise, a sore muscle, and whatever the, the issue is that you're having. Um, for those that suffer with arthritis, you may you know apply directly onto your, your joints and your hands um, using the cream or applying the oil directly, you know, diluted onto your joints. And then also you could use it in an Epsom salt bath. That would be a great way for overall just soreness and aches and pains or soaking um, an injury in a, an Epsom salt bath. So using a quarter to half a cup all the way up to a cup or more if you wanted it's personal preference. Um, and then apply your Epsom or your pan away to your Epsom salt, dissolve that in some warm water and add it to your bath and soak for 15 to 20 minutes or more as needed. You can also apply it in a general application, so just to your wrists, your temples, the back of your neck are great places just for general application. And um, you can also apply warm compress over those oils to help the oils penetrate more deeply and to enhance the benefits and effects of them as well. Um, and then also, <clears throat> just a side note, if you were applying it for a muscle or joint or ligament type pain that you have, you want to add more helichrysum to it. That's been seen um, to have higher benefits for those kind of injuries as far as relieving the pain and reducing the inflammation associated. Um, and then if it's more a bone-related pain, so you have like that stiff joints or you have a you know bulging disc or something with your spine or the arthritic pain that you might have, you want to add more wintergreen to that. That's shown to um, enhance the effects of the pain relieving properties within the blend, um, and that's more um, related to that kind of pain. So, and then um, the last thing that you can do with it, you can inhale it or diffuse it. So, aromatic use, you would either apply it um, to your hand, rub your hands together, cup them over your nose and mouth, and inhale deeply for that benefit. Um, <clears throat> if you're having sinus pain or pressure, that might be something to help open you up and relieve that pain. And then also, um, you can put it in your diffuser and, and run it just for an hour or so every, every three hours um, as needed. 
So that's basically pan away in a nutshell. A couple safety tips. I touched on it as far as the dilution, diluting it one drop to four drops of carrier oil. And you want to be careful in sensitive areas to be sure that you don't get too much or that it's um, in an area that would be highly sensitive to a hot oil or the menthol maybe in the peppermint. Um, and then also it has a safety cap on it. You'll notice this cap is different than any of the other caps on the oils that come in your kit. And the reason for that is the wintergreen that's in this blend. Wintergreen can be toxic if ingested in high levels. So you want to be careful around kiddos that they can they don't get this oil um, and then down it for whatever reason. But that safety cap is on there for that purpose to help prevent that. Um, and it also is caution to be used in, in children under the age of 12. That's the most cautious recommendation I've seen. Of course, it can be used on younger children. You just want to be sure you dilute well, um, but it won't be recommended on young kids and infants, um, just as a word of caution. But anyway, that's Pan Away in a Nutshell. I hope you learned something new, and um, I can't wait for you to use it. Hopefully, it'll relieve some pain for you.